I was working on my car, I uh, went inside to get a drink, come back out, sun was starting to go down. I see a mountain lion chasing a cat right in front of my car. When Damon Devitt spotted this mountain lion Sunday night, he followed his first instinct. To run back inside. I turned around for a second, saw it was just as afraid of me and just kind of stopped dead in its tracks. Damon said it disappeared as quickly as it showed up and showed up again. I look out my front porch and I see it on the neighbor's driveway just kind of staring right at Damon and right into his camera. It got my heart going for a second. He said it was hard to tell just how big this big cat was. Based on where it was on my car, I'd say up to my waist for height and length. I'd say probably if it was standing up, probably taller than me. Damon has called Mount Charleston home for nearly four years. He said this was the first time he saw a mountain lion up close, but not the first time he heard one. Two weeks ago, I was under my car and could hear them doing the little call. He lives near State Road 157. There's a lot of food being left on trails and stuff right now because the trash services are closed with the shutdown. So I think that's driving them down and people have been going off trails. So I think that's kind of scaring them out of their normal spots. Mountain lions are native to Nevada. They're a very elusive animal. But statewide, we estimate that population to be somewhere between oh, 2,500 and a little over 3,000. Doug Nielsen with the Department of Wildlife said generally mountain lions don't want anything to do with humans. But Nevada Highway Patrol said this guy has been making the rounds near Damon's house. If you come across one, stay calm. I made the mistake of running. Good thing it didn't try to chase because they like to play. Talk to the an animal firmly, but calmly and uh, back away, don't turn. Make yourself look as big as you can. Damon told us he stopped working on his car after sundown. Now he hopes anyone else heading up to the mountain will stop leaving their trash behind. Well, we're in their homes. So. I'm Kyla Gaylor, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.